Hey everybody, so I thought it would be really fun uh, to open this in front of you guys. It's new guitar day. So let's open it up and see what I got. Ooh. Such a huge box. Okay. So this so was shipped from Washington. I'm in LA. It took mm, like three-ish days to get here. So not bad at all. Didn't sit in the cold for very long. Okay, we've got some foam in there. The excitement's killing me. Guys and girls, the struggle is real right now. This tape really, really well. A box within a box. It's like Inception over here. This here. So, this is a guitar that I've been wanting ever since I sold my anniversary model three, over three years ago. I sold my anniversary model. Let's see what we got. So, this is my new baby, baby. Uh, it's a country classic, Gretsch 6122. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Ooh, flamed maple neck. Wow, yeah, love it. Man, it's in excellent shape. Um, really hardly no wear, no play. I mean, no scratches or anything either. Not that that would really matter to me. Country classic, 6122. I think he, he didn't detune it when he shipped it. Whenever you ship a guitar, don't ship it fully in tune. Always, always uh, loosen those strings on it a good bit because, um, you know, that's how necks break, headstocks and such, uh, with the tension and, and the hitting. So yeah, man, this is, uh, this is excellent. I love it. Uh, about three and a half years ago, I gave it my uh, anniversary model that I had, and it was a 92 uh, smoke green finish, and uh, I loved that guitar. It was so sick. It had vintage Filtertron pickups in it, and uh, I had to sell it because I fell on some hard times and needed some cash. Yeah, this is a, a fully hollow uh, country classic. It just looks slick, you know, with the uh, with the, the darker walnut finish on this maple. It looks great. So, anyways, let's uh, let's jump in and, and play this bad boy.
So originally, the Country Gentleman style guitars, the 6122, only featured a single cutaway. So you only had a bottom cutaway. Uh, they joined the neck also at the 14th fret. It started uh, with Chet Atkins wanting uh, certain things that he wasn't getting out of his guitars that he was playing. Uh, he was a Gretchen Dorse player, and in the mid to late 50s, uh, he played a 6120 and then a 6121. Those featured De Armand style pickups that just weren't cutting it for him. He wanted more sustain out of his guitars. So that led into the creation of the 6122. Now this guitar featured no F holes and was fully hollow. And the reason for this is that Chet wanted more sustain and he thought by closing the F holes or not having F holes on his guitar, he would have more sustain out of the instrument. Um, there was also a few different things about the guitar, uh, primarily the Filtertron pickups that were created by Ray Butts in order to compete with Gibson's 335 at the time uh, that had humbucking pickups. And this was Gretsch's version of the humbucking pickup. Um, the 6122 featured those, those prominent changes that Chet believed you know, gave him an edge and uh, met his expectations when it came to playing. This guitar wasn't super popular during the late 50s to early 60s. Uh, it featured one cutaway, it was a single cutaway, up until about 1961. In 1961, Gretsch introduced the double cutaway version of this guitar. Now, it wasn't until uh, 1964 when George Harrison with the Beatles came and played the Ed Sullivan show and he came and played the country gentleman. He had a 1963 at the time that he was playing in 1964. Uh, up until that time he had played a Gretsch duo a jet uh, but ended up playing the country gentleman on live TV to millions of people and after that performance, sales for The Country Gentleman went through the roof. Gretsch literally couldn't keep up with the demand at the time. Now this guitar since then has gone through numerous changes. Uh, as you can see, this is the Country Classic. The reason it's called a Country Classic is because at the time they no longer owned the rights to the name. It had several different versions, the Country Classic 1 and then the Country Classic 2. Uh, Elvis played the Country Classic, uh, but the several different versions, there was the 1 which only featured one cutaway and then the 2 which also had the double cutaway. But there are several changes made to the Country Classic which I actually prefer, which is the double F-holes. I love the aesthetic of the actual F-holes that are not painted on. Uh, there were several other changes to the Country Classic, like uh, no mud switch, which essentially, it's almost like a second tone control for the guitar itself. Now in 2008, Gretsch was able to get the name to the Country Gentleman back. So after that, they resumed production of the Country Gentleman as the Country Gentleman, the Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. The Classic One, I believe, connected the uh, neck at the 14th fret, and then, as you can see, the neck connects at the 18th fret on this. So you have a little bit more fret room up here, which is nice. So this guitar has been through a lot of changes through the years. It's gone through different names, different versions, uh, single cutaway to double cutaway, different electronic switching options. It's been through a lot. But all in all, Gretsch has stayed true to what they started out doing in the late 1950s to early 60s when they designed this style of guitar. And that was to create something that was long lasting. Something like the Fender Telecaster, the Fender Stratocaster, the ES-335, these, these iconic instruments that uh, have been around for uh, so long and will continue to be around. Everyone knows the name Gret Chet Atkins, Country Gentleman. Uh, it's still such a an iconic guitar. <laughs> so I hope you found this video to be interesting. Well, some of my facts may be off. Uh, some of that information I've just heard word of mouth and then some was just what I could find on the internet. Uh, I could be off on a few things. If you have any other information about the Country Gentleman and historically and then the Country Classics themselves, I would love to know more. So please hit me up below in the comments and let me know. You know, I'm fascinated by the different variations of this instrument, especially the Country Classic years, because there's not a lot of information out there around these specific years that they produced the Country Classics. Also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up with my latest videos. All right, thanks.